Eamon Holmes rages at this morning guest over Oxfam scandal. Eamon Holmes was having none of on on today's This Morning. Stand in This Morning presenters Eamon Holmes and Ruth Langsford welcomed Oxfam's fundraising director Tim Hunter and former head of artist liaison at Oxfam Elisa Roche onto the show. It comes following reports of Oxfam workers using vulnerable sex workers in Haiti in 2010 following the devastating earthquake. But when Tim spoke to Eamon and Ruth, he seemed to try and pass the blame on to other charities and not just Oxfam. He said, what has happened over the past few days has been really shocking. It's revealed things we're deeply ashamed of, we're very sorry about, but it raises really serious questions about not just how Oxfam works but how other charities operate. Eamon was quick to return the focus to Oxfam, while Tim repeatedly seemed to avoid answering directly. Getting more and more short-tempered, 58-year-old Eamon raged. The real scandal is when I was a child at primary school. We used to be given envelopes and we were asked to give our pocket money to Oxfam because Oxfam was the leading the charge. And I put it to you, this is not about money for you, for them or anything else. You've not only taken people's money, you have taken people's sympathy, their whole caring attitude, their stress and you have messed it up. You've betrayed them. Eamon told Tim to stop blaming other charities, to which Tim then started referencing Hollywood and Westminster. It didn't go by unnoticed, with Eamon quickly interrupting and saying, What we're talking about is people who have sent heroes into areas, where people were dying, where people were starving, where lives were ruined and these heroes were exchanging aid for sexual favors. That is worse than Hollywood, that's worse than what's going off politically. Tim did admit, we are ashamed of what happened. We apologize for what happened. We want to improve, we want to put things right and want to be able to explain to our supporters. Meanwhile, Elisa explained that her opinion of the company had changed drastically when she worked there. She explained that a shoot for an advertising campaign, Oxfam used private caterers that then threw away the leftover food. Elisa couldn't comprehend what was going on because of the company's starts as the Oxford Committee for Famine Relief. She also noted that food could have been provided by one of the charity's sponsors, such as Marks and Spencer.